Hillary and Bill Clinton finally seem cognizant of the fact that Americans are on to their sleazy, corrupt Clinton Foundation. We're really afraid of the fact that you have this foreign influence who then donates to your foundation and then influences your decisions as a public office holder. It's, it's incredibly frightening. But finally, they seem as though they're taking into account that criticism and why we have legitimate concerns about the Clinton Foundation. So they're going to make some changes. So the Clinton Foundation will no longer accept corporate and foreign donations if Hillary Clinton becomes president, according to the Associated Press. Former President Bill Clinton announced the plan to staffers on Thursday, the AP said, citing anonymous participants at the meeting. A formal announcement is expected soon. Under the proposed changes, the family's charitable group would only accept donations from U.S. citizens and independent charities. Bill Clinton said the foundation will continue its work and would refocus its efforts after an overhaul that could take a year. He added that the Clinton Global Initiative, an annual summit that brings together influential world leaders, would hold its final meeting next month in New York City regardless of the election's outcome. So to reiterate here what's happening, they are not going to be bribed by foreign donors now, just American donors are going to be able to bribe them. And furthermore, this is going to take a year to implement that change. Really? You're pretending like you're a bureaucracy or some big corporation when you just have two people at the top. Who are controlling everything so really i don't believe this is going to take a year it's going to take a year because you want to make sure you get in all those donations that you can so that way you have enough favors to give to all these donors for the next four potentially eight years so my question now is are we supposed to applaud them for this because you know i can give them credit where credit is due but my question is why didn't they do this from the get-go you see the optics, even if they weren't corrupt. If I was running for office and I had a foundation, I would think, you know what, I'm going to have to distance myself from this because I know that this kind of gives off a bad image. I don't want people to think I'm corrupt and beholden to the donors of this foundation, and I don't want there to even uh, appear as though there's a conflict of interest. They didn't do that. They thought they're going to continue to have this foundation while she's running for president and take foreign donations for it. So why didn't you do this sooner? And do you think that now, once you've collected millions of dollars in foreign donations, when the election is about three months away, we're supposed to think, oh, well, the influence will go away? Well, of course not, because what you're going to do is you're going to collect all of these donations, and then later on, they're going to call you up, and of course, you're going to answer the phone, and what's going to happen? You're going to come through for them like you promised you would, most likely. So I don't really applaud them for this. This is something you should have done a long time ago. This is something that you should have done from the beginning. And I love how we're supposed to be grateful for this. Oh, okay, we're not going to be influenced by uh, foreign donations to our corrupt charitable organization. Well, that should just be a given. I don't want any president to be influenced by money while they're in office. Is that not something that we just get automatically in a democracy? I don't get why we're supposed to applaud them for this all of a sudden. They just don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get why we're afraid that large donations of tens of millions of dollars might influence their opinion. Now look, even though it's the case that Hillary Clinton may seem robotic at times, she's a human being. Even if she is poll-driven and focus group-driven, she's a human. At the end of the day, this money will influence you. And look, there's a reason why when it comes to super PACs, you can coordinate with them up until the point that you announce your candidacy because it's supposed to be a fail-safe against corruption. But they still coordinate, but the logic behind it, however, and the existence of such laws, nonetheless, is supposed to prevent corruption. And this applies to the Clintons as well, but as we've seen with them, they operate as though they're above the law, and it's incredibly frustrating. This should have stopped immediately once you announced you were going to run for president. Pretend the Clinton Foundation is a super PAC, because it kind of is in some ways, and stop taking all foreign donations the second you announce that you're running for president. Why is it that now, over a year into your campaign, you're now saying that, well, in about a year from now, I'm going to stop taking foreign donations? Why? Why is it going to take so long? Why did it take so long for you to make this announcement? It's just so frustrating. This is one of my problems with Hillary Clinton. They don't think about the perception that they give off to voters. They don't think about how this looks. And the problem is that we actually have evidence of quid pro quos and pay-to-play deals between the Clinton Foundation and their foreign donors. Why is it that after donating $10 million to your foundation, Saudi Arabia 
got a weapons deal. See, you would think that this is antithetical to Hillary Clinton's position because she's voiced concerns about the repressive tactics of Saudi Arabia, but yet they donated to you. So you know what? Uh, who cares? They don't get it. They just don't get it and they never will.